all started with a tweet from Sim Nation Network, and uh, this is what he said. Hey, this is all my guy. We need your, Sim Nation needs your help. There was an update not too long ago for NBA 2K23 that is preventing players from being able to hit consecutive threes. It has been tested vigorously by my Discord of 1700 strong, and everyone wants to know if it will be fixed. Now, I didn't even know we was having some issues with that right there, bro. I didn't even know it was something that was going on. I'm like, I'm out here smacking threes and hitting them, hitting them all just fine. And then he comes back and says, This is using real player percentage, FYI. Now, I'm really confused because I have absolutely no clue about any of this. I didn't even know. So there's got to be offline play and people are trying to use real player percentage or whatever and all that good stuff, bro. I, I have no clue uh, about it. But, hey, the boy Mike Wong came through and said, I can hot fix this should be able to get it in early this week. Now normally we would be a little bit upset because 2K is fixing something minute that nobody even cares about. But, except for a group of people, I'm not trying to discount them guys or nothing like that. But an issue that we didn't even know was an issue, they fixing. And we like, bro, why y'all doing that when we got other stuff to be done? But hey, 2K have done so much right with season three coming up, man. I mean, I think the biggest thing for us to say is, uh, hey, hey, it's just, just like with my guy, what my guy, man? My guy Solo, he just says, he just said it straight up. I, I can't say it no better than this. Season three is looking like a big W and, M and on NBA 2K. I've never seen them drop so much fire clothes ever. Not only did they drop a lot of fire clothes, man, but they did a lot of stuff right. They fixed a lot of things and a lot of things that was going wrong, those things have been uh, resolved, like stuff where you can hit start on the spot. You can change your badges and do all this stuff. Man, there's so many things that have been corrected and patched uh, with patch three and season three, uh, with this patch of season three, we can't even get mad at too much that's going on, man. But you know that the 2K community is gonna find something to get mad at. So before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment mad down below. Actually, comment logo down below, man. Um, that's gonna do two things for y'all. At the end of the month, if we can average 8K views, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console, a um, a next day console, a laptop, or 500 bucks to whoever wins uh, the contest. To get in this, all you gotta do is like the video and comment, comment, or what do we say? Logo down below, that's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Um, every single week, every single week, we give away $50 in VC Cash App, or we give away uh, a next gen video game or whatever video game of your choice, man. It's gotta be the extra regular edition. And we'll be doing that drawing on today during the stream. And last but not least, the bots are down there in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all don't pay attention to the bots, man. They're just trying to get y'all to, to, to get, send them some money. And it's, uh, they telling y'all that I'm on Telegram, I'm not on Telegram. And they telling y'all that I'm on, uh, uh, that I'm putting my phone number down there. That's not happening. And with all that out of the way, good morning. 2k land man now that we got the stuff out of the way that, that that nobody really cares about yesterday logo day was yesterday we're gonna see what the community thought about the whole thing hey boomy with the logo says shout out to everybody who got who got a logo today huge shout out to my queens uh who's that sin and queen r and uh so ronnie just put the joint out he just said shout out to the two to the 2k uh 23 season three logo winners and it's uh 2k mt uh, Alper Bison, Tamama, Fat Boy, Garcelle, Iso Guang, GG, It's Sin, my boy Jarvis Twin. You can't, you can't hey, that's, that, that's the dog. Big Papa Bear Day in the building, Logo Bear Day. June June, La Monster, Miss Lola, Queen R, uh, The Path, Tiller, and Yo, It's EJ. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man, of the community had mixed reviews on this man a lot of people feel like the logo don't mean anything a lot of people mean feel like it does mean something i feel like it's like this if you don't got it some people if you don't have it a lot of people gonna feel like it don't mean anything and the people that got it but like i said tell it to the people that have it the people that have it man it means everything to them so if it means something to them and it can help them out hey i'm all for it man i ain't got no problem with it and 2k can do whatever they want to with it because they have the logo it doesn't it doesn't talk about it doesn't mean you don't have influence it doesn't mean they're not listening to you it doesn't make bro literally everything i say in this game almost happens and this has been happening since like 2k 16 so i know they're listening to the stuff that we're talking about even adrenaline we had influence on adrenaline just them putting adrenaline in the game we we're like yo it wouldn't be so bad if they could only speed boost left and right a few times like two or three times or three or four times but if if they you know they can do it infinitely that's what makes it impossible to guard people and then they put adrenaline in that way you can only do it three or four times i remember saying that uh, i wish they would lock certain moves off by your dribble 
because in 2K16 and 15, everybody could get every dribble move. It was just slower depending on what your rating was. I was like, they should lock them joints off by ratings. This is just stuff that I'm just throwing out there, spitballing. I mean, it's, it's plenty of other stuff that we said too. They said, lock them off by rates. Boom, they did that. I remember in 2K18, I'm like, yo, take the shadows off the court. It's making everybody lag. Boom, next thing you know, they took the shadows off when the, when the thing is rotating. So like I said, it's plenty of stuff uh, that we said. Then also the, the latest one that I was saying was, was like, what? Yo, listen. I can make somebody expend all their adrenaline before they get up the court. Let's just make people not losing in the backcourt. Boom, they did it. So I don't think that your influence and all that. I want my credit, dog, on it. I do be wanting that. But, you know, we, we know who said this stuff, man. So it, it, it don't mean a whole lot to me because I know the influence I've had over the community and helping the game be better and all the suggestions that I gave to make, you know, this thing go better. But, hey, anyway, look, we're going to talk about the boy Laker fan. I love Mr. Speak His Mind. I rock with my guy, Laker fan, man. He says... No logo through three seasons is pretty nuts, no lie. But it is what it is. Pretty disrespectful to what I've done here this year through, uh, though, pretty, pretty, okay, this year, though, is all I'm saying. Okay, congrats to everyone else so far who got it, got theirs, though. And I can't lie to y'all, man. I mean, I understand what it is. Laker fan been going crazy, bro. Like, his savvy. I don't know if y'all watch Laker fans' channel like I do, but the growth, and the uh and the you know what I'm talking about the 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 attention that his channel views he's still getting when people everybody saying the game is dead I can definitely understand what he's saying man I mean it could be a little bit disappointing that you grinding so hard but you haven't gotten it doesn't mean that you won't get it it just means you haven't gotten it yet but hey it is what it is it's, uh do like my guy said man look at 2K said he says using this few one of the best content creators in the community has uh, you know has to be honest and I can't lie to you man that's what I would do if it was me like I said I really ain't looking forward to it but you know I've never streamed on a logo day I always got something to do so I ain't even tripping like I'm not even looking for it like I'm all we always be out with the family or we doing something Friday is Friday evening is, is that's our day we either gonna be at the movies uh last night we was at Outback Steakhouse you know what I'm talking about no rules, no rules, just right. That's what we was at, so, you know, it is what it is. But, hey, that boy Stack says, I, I, and I, like I said, I can't feel bad about, uh, I can't begrudge anybody for feeling this way either. He says, uh, one person says, bro, weren't you literally at Community Day? This is disrespectful. And then he says, uh, in all honesty, I, uh, it ain't, I ain't even think, I mean, what is it? All honestly, it ain't even about me uh, not getting one. I've been saying the same thing ever. I mean, even since ever, even since I had one. I, I think that's what he's trying to say. I'm tired. I'm tired of this logo trend. It's silly. It panders to creators who do the bare minimum. It sets a horrible example of what creators, uh, creators and streamers actually are and want to become. And I can definitely agree with that, man. But you know, at the same time, I think they're trying to elevate people that are. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like give them a little platform or, or help elevate them or just shine some light on those guys that, that don't really have uh don't really have that much of an audience also at the same time. So I mean I can I can I can see it both ways, but you know, we're gonna just go on to A A Cardi. He says, uh, who cares about a logo in 2K23? A lot of people do, man, and they must hold some weight to people talking about it. A uh Dev Dev TV says today might have been my favorite logo class for 2K23 so far. A lot of people who I really rock with heavy. So a lot of people got it and he rocked with heavy. And then uh, God Mill says, congratulations to the logo winners, but not gonna lie, Quavo Bullet, uh, Quavo and Bullet been holding the, holding this Twitch platy down with, with the 2K stuff. Give them logos for real. Hey, and then uh, my boy Stack, my boy Stack, that's my, that's my guy right there, man. Statistics, he says, uh, they got something against me at this point. That stuff is crazy. Ronnie said, we got so much against you. We flew you out to California twice in two months. You know the deal. Just stop, LOL. So, and then my guy, this is my guy right here. Fly, God, pride. What that boy said, why I never got an invite from 2K16 being the hottest creator at the time. He wasn't my age. Was I not marketable? Uh, was I not marketable after thousands, after making thousands from your game? Make it. My marketing, I mean, uh, marketing myself. Are you not just a team? This is not why you are here. That's pretty much what he's saying, man. I think I know why he didn't get no invite, man. Well, I don't know why he didn't get an invite because they took that, the drive uh, was taken, you know what I'm talking about, getting, you know what I'm talking about, that, that, uh, the, the 2K17 fiasco thing, that only happened, that happened after this. So after Logo Day, I mean, not Logo Day, but that happened after, uh, you know, the, the, the ride, that only happened after, um, 
2K17 was released. So I don't know what they talking about with that, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, if you know, you know, cause hey, we, I had me, I had me one of them though. But hey, it is what it is. Anyway, that boy EJ says, yo, these boys packed the swags, what's new? And then so my boy, a hey, stats, he come back and say, all of y'all New York dudes probably love this puffer jacket and ski mask, huh? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. If you gonna see nothing but people out there with puffer jackets, ski masks, and Tim's on with the ski goggles, boy, hey, and then they just gonna be probably just sitting out on the corner uh, talking it's swags or whatever, man. You know how that go, man. Anyway, man, last but not least, we got that boy grinding. Grinding says, uh, I just matched up against Nate Robinson randomly in the wreck. And then after the game, obviously, you know, a hey, Nate, Nate says, uh, he says, <laughs> y'all take the fun out of y'all take the fun out of the game. And he said, we had fun, fam, GG. And he said, this stuff ain't fun watching five people play. I mean, five, five people. I guess he's trying to say five play one play one on five lame af a lot of people say that to us too man they be like you know but it's just the most efficient way to win man five out is the most efficient way way to win the game and when you're constantly attacking the one person like it's, it's different ways to play if you want to run around and everybody want to touch the ball and do that that's fine that's how you have fun but i just feel like you can't tell me how i have fun man so you know it is what it is i have fun winning and I understand that it's your best chance to win in this game right here. And it is unfortunate at times, but your best chance to win in this game right here is to, you gotta let your playmaker make plays and then y'all play everybody else. Just have to play off ball, man. There are other ways to do it, but when you don't have a real team and you haven't really practiced and stuff like that, it's probably gonna not be beneficial. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. If y'all got a unique way of playing in the wreck and stuff like that, let me know. I wanna have y'all on the show and I want to, to uh, I want you know what I'm saying? I wanna, I want y'all to show me what's going on and let's chop it up and break it down for the people and maybe we can get some people playing differently but uh for right now i mean you already know that most people that play this is gonna be five out of pick and roll bro that's just really what it's gonna be and uh it's just because of the floor in the game is is small you can't overload one side really because then you got one person guarding two people or you might have one person guarding four people and then they can just double team your guard and stuff it's just like when people at a higher level it's just not a whole lot that you can do uh, you know, as far as as changing up the gameplay. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Z, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Shop. Guys, speak.